It was her first day at her new school. She walked through the front door with a thousand eyes on her back, but she was sure of herself, so she stomped down the long hallway to her classroom. Helena had moved to town that summer. Her father was a bank manager, and after a readjustment in his company, he had been assigned a job 230 kilometers from home. In general, the move had not gone down well with the family, who had lived in the same house for more than 20 years. Helena, on the other hand, was happy. She liked a challenge. It was her last year of high school, and she would have to work twice as hard to get good grades. And she was sure she would. She wanted to be a computer engineer to create video games. That was her other great passion. That's why she walked into class so determined. She was sure of herself and wasn't afraid of anything. Her classmates were watching her and whispering, but she expected that. So she went in, sat in the front row, and waited patiently for the teacher to enter. They all knew each other. The town was small, so most of them had been studying together all their lives. So, shortly after the teacher began, she asked Helena to introduce herself. She, without hesitation, stood up, said her name, and explained the reason for her transfer. After that, the teacher started the class immediately. At first, no classmate approached her. She wasn't worried, but she got bored during breaks, so she tried to approach a couple of girls who seemed nice to her. They were friendly and answered her questions, but when they saw an opportunity, they ran away. So she began to spend her breaks in the computer classroom. There, she found a sort of a quiet place where she could have fun with her video games or study. No one bothered her. As the days went by, her routine became established. Her classmates were still not integrating her, but she already had her usual friends and now she had found a hobby for the dead hours, so she didn't care. It was strange to her that despite being very well equipped, practically no one went to that classroom. Some classmates came to print out papers, but they were never there for more than 5 or 10 minutes. She wanted to ask them, but since none of them came to her, she decided not to. One afternoon, while she was playing Minecraft, she thought she saw two girls reflected on the screen who seemed to be at the back of the class. She turned quickly but saw no one and regretted having lost her attention. She had lost the game. But history repeated itself over the next few days. If it wasn't the screen, it was her hand mirror. If it wasn't the mirror, it was a crystal. Those two girls appeared constantly. They were so alike that Helena immediately deduced that they were twins. But was it just her imagination? She had never believed in anything paranormal, but she was starting to get scared. It had been several days of believing she was seeing the same thing. That threw her off her studies. She couldn't sleep and needed to find answers. She wanted to approach some of her classmates, but as soon as she mentioned the subject, they left and did not answer her questions. She also stopped going to the computer classroom, spending her break sitting on a bench in the courtyard. When she stopped going there, she also stopped seeing those two girls for a few days. But the nightmare was not over. One night, she dreamt that she was washing her face in the bathroom and they appeared in the mirror. With hardly any time to react, one of them grabbed her hands and set her on fire in the curtains. They were killing her. But just at the last moment, she woke up and realized that it was just a dream. That night, she could not sleep anymore. She was afraid to close her eyes and see them again. Her parents started to worry. She had dark circles under her eyes, she was always sad, and her grades were dropping. She decided she couldn't go on like that, so she started to investigate tragic events with twins. And without much effort, she found them. On the second webpage she consulted, she recognized them. It was them, the same ones she had seen in that classroom. The news said that they had died in a fire at the school 70 years ago. 
The case was relatively recent, and although at the time she knew who they were, she did not understand why she could see them. Finding that answer took more time, and the weeks were really complicated. The twins had crept into her dreams, she could no longer sleep or do anything else. There was a rumor at school that she was possessed, and her classmates stayed away from her as if she had the plague. And since the town was small, it didn't take long for the priest to appear. He showed up one night at her house, telling her parents that Helena needed an exorcism, or else she would die. He told her that she had invaded the space of two souls, and now they wanted her dead. Her parents kicked him out, but deep down, they did not know what to make of what was happening to her. They visited several psychologists and psychiatrists, but none of them worked. And things were getting worse, as Helena did not sleep, she began to have hallucinations. The few times she closed her eyes, she did really strange things. She would walk around the house saying strange things, lie down on the floor, or break different objects. She was totally desperate, so she decided to go back to that classroom. She took advantage of the end of classes to sneak back in. She sat down on a chair and waited to see them again. It didn't take long for them to show up, and then she faced them. She asked them what they wanted from her, why they were following her. But no one answered. And suddenly she started to smell something burning. She looked sideways and one of the computers was smoking. Soon the flames started. She felt very scared, so she quickly went to the door to call for help. But she couldn't even get it open. It was completely blocked. The smoke soon began to flood everything and she was slowly losing consciousness. She fainted as she heard the fire alarm. Firefighters managed to rescue her with major burns over 50% of her body. No one could explain the cause of the fire, although in reality, everyone knew what had happened. Helena managed to recover from her physical injuries, but never from the psychological ones. She stopped seeing the twins, but her parents left town and the computer classroom was closed forever. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.